Hey, man, howdy, hi there. Welcome to Two Backstage and Road Stories. How are y'all doing? Well, last video I was talking about uh, what had happened to me through the course of the year and why I hadn't put out any videos. Uh, but I forgot to tell you about me running into my motorcycle and the blinker hitting me in the leg after after the COVID, after the surgery, the rib, and then COVID. After all that, I hit my motorcycle with my leg and I couldn't walk for two weeks. So this year has been quite something. And if I bought a duck, he drowned. So and I want to I want to give a big shout out to my friend Greg Stevens who gave me this shore microphone and man has he done a great job he's done a great job so i'm gonna turn it up a little just in case so how's that and better now Ooh, my dog here my dog comes through here and he's 19 he's half blind he can't see not half blind he's blind <laughs> and he can't hear but anyway greg stevens man audio vent i'll leave a link to him if y'all ever need to rent any wireless microphones or Sound equipment, call him. It's Audio Vin, and he's in, I think he's in Clear Lake City, or just outside of Houston anyway. So, a shout out to him. And then last time I told you all about the hotels and the maids and the uniforms and all that. But this time, I want to tell you about being in Chicago with Molly Hatchet, and I the stairs on the second floor came down into the lobby and it they came right in just to the left of where the front desk was the front desk was facing the stairs so i was at the top of the stairs and i was fixing to come down and i see a guy standing there with a gun in his hands <laughs> i swear to god he's standing there with a gun he's cussing man he's just yelling and cussing and i'm look i went good god look at that and then he just goes kaboom and shoots. I think he was mad at the front desk because he came in and he shot. I don't know. He messed his reservations. I don't know exactly why, but I know I was standing at the top of the stairs and I saw a guy with a gun. I went, eh. So I'm just coming down. And by the time I got to the bottom of the stairs, the cops had already gotten there and he had this guy in handcuffs. So that was one heck of a story, I'm going to tell you to be there. And then another time, I was with uh, Don Williams, and then I, somewhere in the Midwest, and we, there was three of us, and we would take turns driving, and then when we had a hotel room, we would get two rooms, and two guys would still get a double and a single, and then we'd alternate, so every third motel room you got your own room so i'm standing in my room i'm in my room and i probably went out and got liquored up that night uh, knowing me i probably did the other two guys they didn't do they didn't drink uh they, they didn't hardly ever drink i should say uh, they weren't teetotalers but they hardly ever drank so i'm standing in my hotel and Standing in, now I'm standing outside my hotel. <laughs> I had somehow got up out of my bed, butt naked, and standing out of my hotel room in the hallway with my door closed and me with no key card stuck up my butt or hotel key stuck in the crack of my butt. Nothing. I'm standing there butt naked in a downtown pretty good sized city in a nice hotel well you know we didn't stay in trashy motels they were always pretty nice so i'm thinking what am i gonna do oh no so i'm standing there i had to cover my goodies you know so i'm standing there with my covering my goodies and i just started kicking like a horse did horse kicks and i started kicking my door boom boom and i see all these doors open up down the hallway People are looking, open the door, see what's going on. And I slam the door shut, and I go, bam, bam. I hear all these doors opening and shutting all the way down the hall. It's in the middle of the night now. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I went and got liquored up. But I don't know 
how I got outside of my room, standing there, but now I don't even sleep naked, so I don't even know why I was naked. There was no girls or nothing. I, I was just standing there naked. So finally, I made enough noise, the hotel manager, no, I forgot. Oh yeah, I went down the elevator. I said, I, I thought to myself, I'm gonna have to go down to the front desk and get another key, but I'm naked. So I remember getting in the, in the elevator and I stand by where the buttons are and it goes down to the first floor and I peek around <laughs> and there's about five people in the lobby. I go, oh man, I can't go out there like that. So I push the button, go back up the elevator back to my floor. And then I stood there and I started, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So I started kicking the door like a horse. So, and all these people were opening and closing their doors. And finally, my boss, he they were on the same floor. I knew they were there and I, I started hollering too. I started hollering their names so maybe they would hear me and open up and come on out. Well, my boss comes walking <laughs> down the aisle or the hallway and here comes the manager out of the elevator. And I'm standing there buck naked so I'm covering my, goo -goo, my goodies and so anyway, they let me in, and I to this day have no idea how I got outside that room naked. And at one time we was with Peter Frampton, and we were in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Well, one of the guys, imagine that, a band guy, yeah, how unusual, <laughs> a band guy, his TV caught on fire. Kid you not, man, his TV caught on fire in his room. <laughs> And I remember I was in my room and the stage manager comes, Steve, and he comes, man, he's knocking on all the, get out, get out, there's fire, fire, fire. Get out, get out. And I, what? And knocking on my door, I'm like, I'm sleepy, I'm probably drunk. And I open the door and he said, man, get out, there's a fire. I said, ah, oh, wake me up when it gets a couple doors down. I slammed the door shut and went back to bed. Well, the only messed up about two or three rooms up on the second floor and it didn't get to my room or near my room so that that was cool and it wasn't cool that there was a fire but it's cool i didn't get burned alive so one more time i got one more story before i end this one and we were in los angeles california yeah i'll never forget this one so we were at howard johnson's and I'm sitting with Don Williams. And I'm sitting there, and the naked one was with Don Williams, in case I didn't tell you that. And so we're at a Howard Johnson's. And I'm in the bar, and some of the band guys were in the bar. And that's about some of the band guys, I don't know, there's about three or four, but I'm sitting at the bar. You walk in, there's a bar to the left, and then there's tables out there. So I'm sitting there and I see some strange stuff going on. There's a, a table full of uh, not so kind of rough looking guys <laughs> over behind me. They're over, off my left. There's a, there's a table of about four or five pretty rough looking guys. Look, look like thugs, man. So I'm sitting there at the bar and one of the band guys is next to him, another one over there, and we're sitting there having just having a beer. And all of a sudden, through the door and through the front door, excuse me, and through the back kitchen area, because Howard Johnson's, you know, they're famous for their fried clams. And it seemed like they came out of nowhere. They were like ants, man. Several of them, they just come in and jump on these guys <laughs> behind me. Oh, they had them and had them, you know, and they grabbed them, man, and they all wrestled them. And, and I'm sitting there, and then the band guys, man, they, boom, they bolted. They were out of there. They jumped, they hit that front door like, like there was nothing. I mean, they were gone. I'm sitting there drinking my beer going, what is going on? And, you know, and these guys finally get them under control and they all got guns. Every one of these thugs have guns. They're pulling out guns out of their pants. And I'm sitting there. And I think when the first gun pulled out, I think the band guys went, well, I sat there and I said, mm, I'm going to finish my beer. And I did. 
And then the bartender finally comes over. I said, man, can I have another beer? He said, man, you need to go. <laughs> We're closing. You need to get out of here. He said, you should have already been gone. I said, ah, all right. So anyway, that was another hotel story. And I know, I hope my stories are not getting boring, but I do want to thank you for watching. I really do, man. Thank you. And I promise I'll get more and more videos out coming up soon. I got a lot of stories to tell you, and I'm going to tell them to you. Whether you listen or not, I don't know. That's up to you. <laughs> nah, just kidding, man. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye.